Hi everyone, it's Gail. And I am here going to go through some things. I'm so sad because um, I filmed a video for today and some messages came through even though I had airplane mode on. <laughs> and my video shut off after like 11 minutes. So I'm going to go over what we did um, that or what I did all by myself. <laughs> And then, um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna hop on to something new. So anyway, let's say hi and hugs to Lori, Rowena, Janice, and Robin. Thank you so much for watching and, um, and for your kind comments. Okay. First thing I did was went through yesterday's journal covers and I did get them all sewn. This one, I went ahead and put lace on. And then um, I put a padded heart from Padded Heart Company on it. This one. And then I just folded them and pressed them really good with my um, bone folder. And then I have them sitting under, um, under three books over there. Um, just to kind of mush them down, you know, because they, they want to just fly open. But I have found a couple days under the books and they, they will stay down better. So here's my Kathy Holden one. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so cute. And then of course this little, little one too, that's gonna be fun to do. It's a different size. It'll just be a little different experience. So those, and then um, I wanted to show you this, uh, which is the, uh, slow stitch cover and um, so what I did uh, you know in the video yesterday is I had covered a 12 by 9 manila envelope and I had um, and so what I did is I stitched just that the manila envelope the backing and the pocket and then I glued the um, I glued the slow stitch. Oh, I put down a um, put down a batting. Batting. Sorry, I'm a little rattled from the whole lost the whole hour video thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. So anyway, put down the bat quilt batting and then the slow stitch. Um, glued it, and I just I glued super good around the edges with Fabri Tac, and then I clamped it like. Clamp, 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 you know, all the way around. And so it's all good. So I thought we could maybe just fold that. And you'll see that, you know, the the um, the envelopes are sturdy, you know, so it takes a little bit to kind of get them to fold. And then um, I just take my bone folder and especially like if there's any humps or anything, I just really press it down good so that it's nice and folded and ready to stitch in a signature. So there you have it. I love this, love this. I'm so excited, all these projects. I'm like, ooh, this could be so fun. So I'm gonna put these back under my books so they can smash and, um, and then after that, I finished off the, um, the tags in here. We had stopped at 19, if you recall. And so that's what the video was, was me making tags. But I'll just, I'll just pull them out and show them to you. So that's 20. And I decided to put it in this little pocket, just kind of behind her. And then there's 21. It's just a little tuck behind. And here's 22. Little embossed tag. And then there is 23. There. And 24. Put it on as a tuck as well. And then there's 25. 
So I'll do a quick flip through of this, which is what I did on the other one too, because once I pop this away, um, I'm not going to do December daily because I don't know, here it is, whatever it is, it's halfway through the month pretty much. So, um, so anyway, um, I'll keep this for next year and it turned out pretty good. It's not super alligatory, a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, so there's number one. Number two I put on as a belly band, which was a fun idea that I didn't do anywhere else in the book. <laughs> there's this one that's like a tuck. Another one. Well, most of them are on as tucks. It just worked out well to do that. There's six, seven. Let's see. This little, little, um envelope is like a pocket on number seven so that's super cute one okay and then this is number eight nine which is also a tuck ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15 is in the little cellophane bag. If you hear any noise, that's my husband grinding nuts. He's, I think he's making baklava for my daughter. 16, 17, 18, 19 and then the ones that I did today 20 21 22 23 24 and 25 so there you have it. That little book is done and ready to go on my shelf with my journals. So as I said, my friend came over yesterday and so I cleared out all the Christmas. There's no more Christmas within my reach. So what's next you might say, I'm going to finish because that's what I need to do. I need to finish because that's my word for 2023 and I have stuff that's not finished. So let's see, what do we have going here? We've got some journal cards and stuff. This was from Addie's journal. These are papers that can be filed. Okay, and this big sack can be made into a journal. Hmm. That might be a fun journal cover. I'm a thinking. How tall is this? It's about 10. That's okay. And 13. Hmm. Collaging, perhaps? Yeah, I think that's what might happen to that. I think that might be a journal cover. I'm just going to fold it right now while I'm remembering what it is I'm doing with this. So maybe I will save this for a scrappy Saturday and we'll make a journal cover out of that. That'll be fun. Okay, that's that. This can be a journal cover. Be fun too, because that is then six by nine. Perfect. So another bag journal in my future, uh, not Christmas. So, um, yeah, I don't think I even need this volleyball divisionals thing because I've done her journal. It's wrapped for Christmas and everything. So I think I might just, just say that's enough of that. Okay, so I need to doodle on these. I don't have my pens with me at the moment, so that is maybe a mixed media Monday. Flowers to put together. 
These were leftovers from a journal, I think. Hmm. And rub-ons and some embossed stuff. I kind of did a project on that. I should have grabbed that. Um, these are onion skin papers. Looks like these are kind of things slash pages to use in a journal. Hey, okay. So, we're on the fly here, but how about we use them in here? There's a couple of these pink sheets. Those are fun. Um, there's like three of these. Let's put these in between these. It's just a pile that was on my on my tray over there. So I don't I'm not even sure where they came from, but we're just gonna use them. How about oh that's kinda that's fun. What else do we have? Looks like something got to that. <laughs> something bigger than a bookworm. <laughs> okay, and this is... Oh, those are cool. Let's, let's put those in as pages, too. ripped a little but that's okay uh let's just what did i do with the oh there's the other pink one i don't know just put together a little a little journal to be done at some point um let's choose those other pieces of paper that i threw over here how about And old Sears catalog pages is what these are. I'm just going to fold them properly. Pop that in there. This is going to be the outside page, I've decided. Okay, uh, what else? Oh, we still have one more pink sheet. Let's pop that somewhere in here between the onion skins. Like this one. Okay. Why is that sticking out so far? I think I might, I might want that this way. Okay. Another Sears catalog. Might as well throw that in there. I haven't used these pages forever and I have one of those over on my shelf. You know, sometimes you just, I guess sometimes you just forget all the stuff and things that you have. Nope, this way. Okay. I don't know how many pages that is to Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. I'm going to grab one of these. Okay. 
just because it's close. Okay, um, could put that in the middle, I guess. Okay, and these are too big and are chewed up and stuff, but we could maybe use them for, for some, oh look, so cute. We could use that for ephemera or something. I'm going to go like this and put this in here too. Just like that. And that's going to go in there. And there's a journal to finish. <laughs> okay. And then I'll put this these things with it for possible ephemera. Okay. Just stick those in the sack, maybe. There we go. Okay, so then a little piece of lace. Um, let's look. You guys will remember this. I've been collecting a few things for this book, which is gonna be a journal here one of these days. So this is definite, I think this might be my next project. I don't know. I'm kind of waiting because Joey Cardmaker said that he might do a 1960s, um, a 1960s digital. So I've been kind of waiting for that, but I've just kind of been collecting things. So I'm gonna put that back on the tray and wait for Joey. Okay, how are we doing? We are still filming. Yay. Then I have my, I have my project box here that has this in there. that I did a whole long time ago, very, very long time ago, and I've never done anything with it. So... falling so I this is a, a definite finish thing and I'm not quite sure how to finish it I start I was following the bohemian crafter I think doing this and then I only got so far and then I don't know so got a lot of stuff in here to work with for it but so that's that's my finished project for now we're gonna work on this pile of embossed stuff and see if we can if we can get it kind of finished up at least some of it I can't do I'll show you that in a minute okay so let's just do these let's just... I, what a discombobulated afternoon. <laughs> oh, just was sick that that video was not. It's like I got all done with the video, hour long or maybe even a little more. Stood up and there's all kinds of messages on my phone. And I'm like, well, maybe, maybe it's still filmed while those were coming through. Well... I turned off all notifications when I started this video, so hopefully that does it. It's just, you know, with a new phone, you just don't have all the kinks worked out. That's all. So this is going to be a journal card. And what I was thinking is I was thinking of putting these on like so and having them be like a, a pocket where a journal card could slide up there. So, that's what I'm doing with these. I have, so, this, I what I showed you is just what was on my finish it up table. And I have, I have my project cart yet too. And it has, it has projects. <laughs> 
So, so there's more to be done. I was thinking about putting like some Inca gold or something on that. I don't know. If I have to run across the room to get it, I might do it. So anyways, anyways, what a weird day. So thank you for being here. Thank you for putting up with my moaning and groaning about my video. Cheesy peasy. Um, but I am, I'm really, I'm happy to be kind of done with Christmas and have a bit of time to do some finishing up because, um, because yeah, that was my word and not everything is finished up. I mean, I'm in pretty good shape compared to where I usually am. <laughs> I usually have all sorts of projects going at once, but, um, but yeah, the, uh, I really want to save that sixties thing to see if, if Joey does a, a journal kit, because I think that would be perfect, but we'll see. I'll have to check in with him. No pressure, Joey. I'm just waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, if I don't finish it because I don't have the digital, then right, that's not, that's not my fault, man. Okay. Do you want to wait two seconds and see if we can get some stuff on that? Let's do it. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. No. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was me tripping. I really have to quit zipping around my craft room. <laughs> Nothing's broken. We're good. Um, I was looking at this pink for this. That'd be fun. All my Inca gold is dried out, so I had to grab my water too. Because if, if it's all dried out, like see, it's all dried out. It's not cream anymore. But if you put some water in there, then you can smoosh it down and you can still get some. So, ooh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of silvery pinky. That would have been just my luck to fall on my face again and have to stop this video. <laughs> I'd been like, okay, not meant to be today. I'm, I really want to get ahead for Christmas though, because we're going to be gone. And I, I mean, worst case scenario, I guess if you don't see me for a couple of days, it's because I couldn't get them all done because I had to fugal tease with my phone. Okay. Okay. That I don't know what this looks like on camera, but it's really cool in real life. Can you see that? Yeah, really cool. Okay. Well, we did that. I was thinking maybe gold on this one because uh you know, it's not a color that I have much to go with. Yeah, that one's really dried out. Can you tell? But you know what? It it works if you just give it a little water. Did not expect to do this today. <laughs> oh, goodness. But I'm having some fun, so it's all good. Sometimes the day just doesn't go like as, as planned, you know? Got to roll with it. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Just sure does bring out the embossing. Maybe a little more right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, those are done. <laughs> Except they don't have cards put up in them. But I don't know. I think that might be a wait and see type of thing. I don't know. You know, wait and see which which journal they go in, but I like those. Okay, well, that was fun. So this one has, I have a stamp that goes with it, but it's clear across the room. See, that's the stamp. So this was goofy, because if it would have been over here, I could have done a double journal card. I could do a double journal card that opens the other way, couldn't I? I think that would work. Yeah, why not? Let's clip the corners. Give it a little vintage photo and it will be ready. Now I have a little bit of water on my desk. Okay. Hey, um, I put all of my embossed stuff, I put in an enamel tray that it's behind me, but it's behind my bookshelf. I don't know if I can get to it. I have to look. Um, hmm. I might do... There's a number thing. I might do some ink of gold on it, too. See, I'm looking at the pieces that I still have to go. That's so funny that they were over there, and I just did a bunch of work with embossed paper, so I'm not sure how these got over there. I must have had another day and just thought, well, they're not, they're not quite done, so okay. Now, I'm wondering if I should kind of go over this with my, yeah, it just, it just brings out the embossing. Otherwise, you can feel it, but you can't really see it. Okay, well... That has an oriental feel to it, to me. But that's another one done. This one has to go in the undones because we don't have the stamp. This one has these numbers that would be really cool, I think, with some ink of gold on them. Do I have? Just looking to see if I have. Yes, I do. Silver. Yep, it's pretty dried up. <laughs> oh, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yep, I'm going to go over this with this. And then I'm kind of thinking... I just might put some black ink on it, too. Oh, this cracks me up. This is like the last thing I thought I'd be doing today. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. Nothing to be done, Gail. This will be fun to kind of tear apart for collage, I think. So I'm not sure, but I think this was a Tim Holtz um, embossing folder, I think. OK, 
Okay. Okay, that's nice and shiny now. Hmm. Let's do Okay, to be revisited. I'm going to I'm going to do silver on this too. I don't know why. It's just speaking to me. Fun, 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 fun. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't know for what it's going to be, but you know, if I can grab those, I'll have to do that and we'll sort these out. But I was thinking a little little black ink might be interesting on this. I know, I'm just going to lightly Oh yeah. How cool is that? That looks awesome. Oh yeah. That's really fun. I was saying in the video that that didn't record that I'm in the mood to get painty because the whole time I've had Christmas stuff out, I haven't gotten out any paints or anything because I just didn't want to make the mess, you know. Okay, that's two pages that needs to kind of cut down the middle oops did not get it the whole way well where's my scissors there they are And these, these make, like, this makes a wonderful spine on something. But it's smooshed over, so I'm going to cut this down too. But I think I'm going to use a little cutter because I can get up there a little better. Okay, so right there. Right there. Okay, I haven't made one of the journals that that these make a cool um, binding for in a while. This to be cut out. It needs to be. It's kind of breaking. This one needs to be cut down. Let's cut this one down and then the other one will cut out. My husband just came down here. I wonder if something's going on. I'm filming a little bit later than usual. What with my difficulties and all. got stuff on my hand. I got a little bit on there. <laughs> okay. And then this, I can get a couple of these edges with the cutter. I could actually do this too. really kind of like what I did with this card. Maybe I can do something like that with that one too. 
those other two cards. Let's see. Can we whip around this? Ish. are not the most delicate scissors for for fussy cutting but they're gonna work <clears throat> time oh we only have 15 minutes left for not knowing what I was gonna do I've certainly taken up enough of your time haven't I I don't know if this will fit on one of those pieces over there, but maybe might be a kind of different journal card. I um, I used that light colored as a base because because it was light colored and you know, could be written on and stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we'll be looking at the project cart too for unfinished stuff as well. Um, I was I was thinking about these like this. Oh, it's a bit big. Hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna not gonna work with those. That's okay. We'll find something for it to go with. I feel like that needs like a Got a copper. Do you think that'd be cool? Let's try it. I mean, it's not like I know knew these pieces of paper were in my <laughs> in my unfinished anyway. Ooh, I think that might be cool. Making a mess of my desk, but you know, probably can wipe it up. Ooh, yeah, I really like that. Well, a little mixed media Monday here <laughs> on Tuesday because I did not. Things did not go to plan. Okay. Oh, that this is this is my turning out to be my favorite one so far, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so that is that. Look at, is that fun? It's all shiny. Let's see if I can grab my other. Yes, yes, I can easily, easily. Okay, so what did I have here? Had these kind of sorted. So these are like the ones that could make a good journal spine. Okay. And man, I just love that. It is so cool. Um, let's see, and these are just regular pieces, so they go in the regular pieces. I just thought if I had these close here, I would, I would use them more. They're on top of my, on top of my beeswax paper. 
Um, okay, those are going to go and finish journals. This one, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's good. We got those. Now, with this, I think I'm going to tear it up. Excuse me while I wipe up my desk. Oh, yay, it's coming off. Wasn't sure. I thought, oh gosh, if I leave that, <laughs> that's what's happened to mats in the past. They've been mixed media to death. Okay. Good enough. Um, I kind of want to just have this at the ready. So I kind of just want to tear it up. And I mean, it could go in smaller, like I could tear off that five, but like, like this could be, it's not that easy to tear cardstock, but I'm more or less getting her done. fun to be able to have this to put on journal cards and stuff as you're decorating, wouldn't it? You guys, we're going to have some videos coming up of the Eyes Closed Challenge too, because my to-do, I have two to-do boxes now. It's just, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to tear off that too. Oh, I think that'll look really cool on something. It's not tearing like I want it to, but it's tearing, sort of. Did I tell you guys about the movie The Mighty Max, M-A-C-S? I can't remember. Anyway, if you haven't seen it on Prime, it's... It's a good movie. I was telling my friend that was over about it because she's a coach and um, there was, there was just really some good stuff in there. Okay, I think that's good. I want this three out of here. That's cool. This would be good, this part. If I can get it to... It's like it wanted to bend and break, and now that I want it to, it's not. <laughs> that must be... I don't know if it's Murphy's Law, but somebody's law. It only does it when you don't want it to. There we go. That's a cool piece just on its own. Okay. Well, that's some fun collage bits. I'm going to put those in my small collage bits. Um, and then I thought, hmm, let's see. I'm good. I still have a little time. I was wondering in my cardstock if I had any pieces that would be this would fit on it's kind of over the top of that but I don't know if I care that could be cool in a um, belly band let's play with that a little bit got a few more minutes well first of all I'm gonna round the corners down here And then I'm going to just I'm going to put glue on this because 
The embossed piece is slightly bigger. Okay. Hey, that's kind of cool. I'm going to use walnut stain so it's a bit darker. Should have done this before I glued it on, huh? Sometimes the ideas don't come to me in order. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Every single video, it's just, it's going to be that way through the winter, I, I'm afraid. Okay. That's just fun, and then you can journal on the back. I need to glue down. Okay. Maybe I, we'll see if I need to put any more on that. But what I'm thinking is if I can find something to um well, like, like to just slide a little journal card up in there. Not that one, it's too wide. <laughs> um, what do I have? Anything in here, perhaps? Might be too wide again, but let's just see. Oh, cute. Okay, well that's fun. What else do we have that would go with that? If anything. This is just a little bit of sewn ephemera. But I'm liking that. And then these will be done, yes. Something will be finished anyway today. Let's see. Ooh, there's a pink one. Okay, loving it, loving it. I love those. Those are so fun. Cool. Well, guys, I'm going to end this. I think we're getting close to time anyway. And, yeah, who knows what will be next. <laughs> We're going into the uncharted territory of let's finish it up. So, so thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'm so sorry that you missed all that tag making, but you got to see the final product anyway. So thanks again, guys. Have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.